Hello Ringlets and welcome to a brand new video. This is going to be a brand new series for you on Football Manager 15. Uh, it's a game I've played over 300 hours on and uh, I wanted to start a new series on here and uh, I'm going to start today with something I've never done before. It's something I'm very f***ing excited about. No need to swear there, just wanted to test the bleep. But I am going to start playing in Alsvenskan. What team you ask? Well, I have recently moved to Sweden and the local team here is Kalmar FF. And I'm going to see if I can take Kalmar to the promised land, back to the Alsvenskan champions and hopefully get them in the Champions League and we'll see where we can go from there. First of all, just a quick note, I'm using a skin called Scorpio here. Um, you have to go into preferences and you've got skins here, Scorpio DF11 and I'm also using a DF11 face pack all face packs, logos, anything like that is from fmscout.com any more information that you need just let me know this is going to be an ongoing series uh, so let's start a new game uh, I have also got the uh, Steve85 career um, like update um, database update so players like Judas players like Sterling go to Man City. Yeah, fuck off, you little twat. Uh, I am a Liverpool fan, so uh, no hatred towards Raheem there. Hope you break a f***ing leg, you twat. Um, but uh, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to start a new career as football manager. We're going to go to custom. We're going to edit. And then we're going to see what database that we've got open here. So FM Steve 85 from 7th of August. Um, generally I think it's mostly English stuff changed but um, is here so what leagues are we going to start with so I would like to tick England just in case I get offered a job there and I decide later along the line that I'm going to change and go to England but I'm going to do England and Sweden where is Sweden there we go and we are going to do next we're going to make wow well, look you can play North, south, but look how lo look how far down you can go on there. I'm gonna do north, south playable. Um, also, we want to have all these divisions playable. We're gonna do a large database for all. Yeah, obviously, I'm gonna start on the date for Sweden instead of England. If I started on the other date, I'd be starting halfway through a season. So. Without further ado, let's press start game. You've selected 10 leagues from two nations. With a large database, this game will start in Sweden in February 2015. No problem. Right, let's choose this picture. Name Rich Hope. And we do 24th December 88. Nationality English. Second is Scottish, because my mum. Mum's from Scotland and my dad's from England. Place of birth, England. I was born in Farnborough, actually. Uh, Favourite team. Obviously, this will help if you are trying to get a job in a different uh, different country. So it's Liverpool. Uh, next. Other favourite teams. So I've got, obviously, in England and if you go north south do Baden Stoke FC probably my favorite formations are 4231 or a variation of a 4231 four at the back two in midfield right and left attackers with a central midfield with an attacking midfielder and one striker it may help me a little to say that uh, I can speak Swedish um additional languages spoken address me as rich hope right there we go next social networks no I do not want to log in to social networks I swear that he's the Suns file manager now I think he is because I, I went to um, the gold Falcon arena just the other night and he was on the opposition end so I think I think he manages Suns file professional Chairman of the club, estimated value only £12 million. Uh, the Gold Forgon Arena, which is a great arena, 12,100. So we'll do we'll do suggestions based on that. 
and we'll, we'll gain extra knowledge as we go along so press confirm and start playing so hope takes charge at CalMyFF personal message from blah 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 attend meeting I usually attend the meeting and just click the top uh, oh, expectations are fine I didn't even read that uh, no I don't feel a meeting it would be good for me to meet the journalist okay let's meet the assistant manager yes please summary yeah, let's meet the back room staff fortnightly basis uh, I'll, I'll let you know if I need any more help okay uh, anything else can we improve training facilities yay improving improving the training facilities right transfers update da -da 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 -da. David Elm is a current captain Marcus Jobonson is the vice captain uh, let's just confirm that can my FF a background right so I've got all these pictures here unfortunately these are the Premier Division pictures um, but basically um, Swedish Premier Division uh, first division elite is the championship there Swedish Cup I guess is the FA Cup and the Super Cup it's got a picture of the charity shield um, so we'll just have to pretend those are the right pictures founded in 2010 uh, I mean <laughs> 1910 blah stadium is the gold Forgan arena which is the chicken ground everyone calls it um, good youth facilities good training facilities um, the minimum expectation is that the team finish above mid table in the Swedish division um, Swedish cup semi-final oh god I don't have a lot of money do I meet the players all right, how's everything going? Good. Okay, let's meet the players. Yeah, there you go, Rasmus Elm. He's actually at the club now, because Rasmus Elm is the uh, player that was that you see there. He was at CSK Moscow. Um, so I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce you to me. Uh, we can finish in a respectable position this se season. That's exactly what the reaction was that I was after. So reports. Da, 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 da. meet the staff right let's see what they've got to say add these guys as free kick takers corner takers there throw ins these some good players good players yep that's fine uh, scouts at such planned training facilities work All right, that's great okay so right off the bat guys what we're going to do is we're going to take a little look at the squad we're going to have a look at what their star ratings are and we're going to see if we can either get rid of anyone or such and such. So, Rasmus Selm is obviously the best player. He just came in um, at the end of the season. All the Elm brothers, if you look at their history, career stats, uh, if you look here, uh, he started at Kalmar, Rasmus. Then he went to Alk AZ Alkmaar, CSK in Moscow, and went back to Kalmar. Um, so many of you may have heard of him. I heard of Rasmus Elm. Uh, he was in the Swedish setup. I'm not sure if he is now. Um, who's our current best players? So Rasmus Elm, Victor Elm, Marcus Nilsson, uh, David Elm. They're wearing last season's kit, I think. Uh, David Elm, Nuri. As I say, I went to watch them recently, and uh, they lost 2 nil, so they were pretty shit. Lars Kramer, he was wank. Uh, so we'll have a little look at what we've got, but at the moment, we've got some. We've definitely got some players that could be shipped out. Uh, if you look down here, Mukhtar Ahmed, what's he even doing in the squad? He hasn't even got a career here. Stefan Larsson's quite an old player, um, 32. Uh, Georgievic, he's not very good to be honest. Uh, Papa Juf is quite good though. I I like Papa Juf. Right, so that's the assistant reports. Let's have a look. Any of the under 21s got good potential? Uh, Gustav Eriksson Söderström has. So for now, we'll put them in the senior squad just for pre-season, and. Um, Let's see. Let's put this one in the senior squad as well. Right. So, 
without th further ado let's look at tactics so what I like to do is I like to do with these lower teams I actually do have some tactics here uh, lower league 4141 for instance but I'm gonna break make a brand new tactic here so lower league teams I think you shouldn't play 442 to be honest I'm gonna set a formation uh, of 4411 like that but it's gonna be even more negative we're gonna go with a defensive midfielder there so uh, we've got four at the back one in defensive midfield one up front um, I will change it slightly so they're a little bit more attacking but let's have a little look for now so player up front is going to be a false nine I like to play with a false nine because for some reason every other striker that I've used in the game um, deep line forward advanced forward and such um, hasn't worked very well for me so I'm going to use a false nine there the wide midfielder um, I'm going to make him I'm going to make these wingers winger left attack and winger right attack as well uh, the central midfielders we're going to have the right one is going to be more advanced so an advanced playmaker there um, and then in the left central midfield we're going to have a uh, box to box midfielder and then behind we're just going to have literally a defensive midfielder at the back we're going to have standard full backs and defenders just like that so that that is a good start mentality I'm going to start that on counter the team shape I'm going to start it on structured so because their defense is awful um, and let's have a look so what you want to do when you are playing this kind of game you actually want to go at a kind of a low tempo you don't want it to be too high uh, close down uh, much more but low tempo uh, get stuck in because we want to tell them to put a foot in and stop being such wetties um, what else we're gonna go okay more direct passing uh, we're not going to retain position. I've seen them play the other day and all they can do is hoof the ball around pump the ball into the box whipped crosses I'm pr pretty happy with that so far so it's structured it's pretty stoke you know what I mean it's kinda meh but it'll do so we want to go to team and what you first want to do is you want to get the tactical aspects good you want to make that very high and you want to make less match training like this okay uh, then you want to go individual and press ask assistant and they'll sort all that out for you and then also you want to make sure all your coaches are doing something so ask assistant here and all these three coaches will do something for you so let's have a little look at the board and how much money we've got so we really don't have a lot of money uh, what is the schedule for us so we have Swedish Cup group okay what does that actually mean I've, I've never seen this some um, Swedish Cup group hmm I have to get into it because I don't know anything about that um, we'll see what it is we'll see what it is so we've got that all sorted now let's see who is too old and who needs to be sold and such so last Kramer yep so we've got two defender rights actually no we don't so we kinda need a right back we've got two left backs there uh, Georgievic at the back Torbonson we've actually got way too many defenders um, Ramhorn looks good like he's got good potential um, Oh man, oh he's shite. To be honest, he was shite the other day. There are probably some players that we need to send on loan, like Johan Ramhorn. Uh, he's 18 years old, of the clubs, on loan, and we will just press off the clubs. And what I tend to do is pop them in the under 21 squad. Most of this episode is going to be kind of building and seeing what we're going to do, tweaking some stuff. 
So central midfielders, as you can see, we've got a lot and we don't have many wingers. We're going to have to do something about that. Yes, so we'll send him on loan. Sapchidis. Uh, put him in the under 21s. Okay, Ismail Silva. We know Ismail. We'll keep him around. And Romarino. Romarino? Romarino. Uh, Gutu. He seems pretty good. Uh, and these are the best ones here that are going to play. Um, right, who have we got here? Mukhtar Ahmed. We kind of need wingers, but he looks shit. And I think I'm just going to sell him, to be honest. Um, let's offer to clubs. And let's just put him in under 21s because he's just too shit for this squad. Uh, we do have a left winger here. We've got David Elm, Papadouf and Marcos Antonsen up front. He's very fast actually. Um, so we're doing alright there. So what do we need? We need a right winger. Which we're going to try and get now. So let's have a look. Position. Can play. Attacking midfielder right. Potential. I always tend to go for the potential rather than anything else. Right, let's do a scout and report on all of these. Uh, we're probably going to need a second one. Let's go AML as well. And we will do these three. Get scout report. Also, we were pretty short on a right sided defender there. So let's do a right back. So defender right and scouting, get scout report on all these. Um, we've got 495k to spend and 1.24k a week on budget. Uh, it doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm. This is a lot more money than I was used to when I played at Basingstoke because that was non-league. So we've got an all right amount of money here. So that's that done let's actually look around every position that we have so goalkeeper uh, we're going to go again just the ones that we've oh shit I just pressed the space bar whoops guys uh, let's go back there we were right let's do all of these that we've got info about we're going to do a central defender Habib Belaid. Again, we're just going to do a scout on all of these. Uh, central midfielder. Rasmus Schiller. Who he plays for? Hammerby? Kluby. Oh, Finnish Premier League. Okay. Well, let's see who we can... Start. Well, we won't do a look for those guys at the bottom. We'll go for these. Scout, get scout report. Uh, and we'll do a striker as well. Because um, we are going to need a freaking decent one, to be honest. Get scout report. Okay. What about staff? How many staff? Let's look at the board. We've got a manager, a goalkeeping coach, and a fitness coach. Um, but I need more, to be honest. Let's see if we can get some more staff in. I'm really not sure if I can, but uh, let's go to job centre, place an advert for a scout as well. We want a scout staff search. We'll do a scout search as well. So staff role. Uh, Scout. Um, what you also want to do is add attribute. Um, judging player ability, I'd say, is most important at the moment. Let's just go down from there. Right, we've got two here. Paul Montgomery. I've heard of him. Yes, I had him at Liverpool once. I bought him. No, yeah, I bought him for. No, I bought him for Basingstoke, didn't I? Uh, maximum staff permitted six, current numbers one. 
So let's try to get some scouts. David Hamilton. Let's go for this guy. Oh, approach to sign. Don't play hardball with me. You fucking greedy cunt. Alright, Barry. You want 2k a week? You greedy twat. Oh, come on. Yes. Look, we have Oscar Sam. Oscar Sam is actually my even more local club here. Um, I currently live in Poskalavik, which uh, Oscar Sam is like really local. Um, Swedish First Division South. Cool. Uh, I'd prefer for him to go to Os Oscar Sam, to be honest. So we'll put him on there. Sakpedis on loan. Except all. Man United trial. Oh, God. God. Adam and Lana injured. Wayne Rooney. Memphis Depay. Oh, that's an absolute joke. Liverpool are in fourth place in the Barclays Premier League. Fuck off. 155k. You've got to be joking. We'll make him an offer anyway. No offers for Ahmed. Speak to clubs, you twat. You silly... Come on. Go! Leave the club. Okay. Hope to meet the media. Karma FF's Arlo offer accepted. Uh, let's see. How old is he as well? 21. Well, I can't afford to pay you that much. There's absolutely no way. Maybe a higher signing on fee, but... Oh! Fuck off, you greedy c***. We'll try and go for this guy. We'll add a bit more money to that. There we go. Come on. Camper. John Jonas Camper. He looks pretty good. We're going to make a bit of a lower offer there. And send that their way. Oh, just f*** off. You shit. You shit, Ahmed. Go from the club. Let's uh, scout him first before I approach. You knobhead. You could piss off then. Oh, I could get him. Captain I fi He played for uh, Hull. And he's pretty good as well, but he's going to retire soon. 110, go f*** yourself. Right, I better set up a friendly. Uh, to conclude this video, I'm going to set up a friendly now of the under 21s versus Kalmar. Maybe I'll give you a bigger agent fee? I don't know. Oh, I don't want you anyway. Right, so we've got Nuri, Nilsson. Okay, let's go. Let's go for it. Submit team. Let's start the match, guys. Let's go. Oh, it's so loud. The arena's so loud. Camera FF are playing at home. Playing it. Gaston. We're not playing at our stadium. Ah, what a load of wank. We're losing already. Um, oh my god. I'm going to have to sell that guy. What a load of shite. Uh, this is shit. Play better, you twats. God, this really isn't working, is it? Oh, it worked! Was that a dive? Who scored that? Elm! David Elm! Yes! Hoof it into the box for David Elm and he will score. Um, well, we've got Papadouf there, Romarino, Stefan Larsson, Söderberg. Let's just 
put them on the pitch and see how it does. Come on, guys, we can win. We can win this. It's only the under 21s. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! 2 1! Who scored? Who was it? Oh, it's Papa Juf, the guy that I put on. Good work, guys. Let's get another one. Come on, guys. Sounds like a beach ball on the pitch. I don't want that to happen again, not like it happened to Liverpool. Oh, it's 3! It's 3 1, guys! F here now! Who was that, David Elm? Ink! Ingelson, get in there, Ingelson. Good work, my son. Way we won the match. We won the match. Okay, calm. Uh, we got away with that today. I don't care if you're angry. Right, guys. So that concludes today's video. If you like this video and obviously would like to see more, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. If I could do anything better, let me know. But for now, take care, Ringlets. High five!